Hello everyone, welcome to this little video on Saturday afternoon. You may have seen us here at Vintage Automobilia going on a bit this week about our new range of paints that have been launched alongside leading market specialists, uh, Craftmaster Paints. We are really pleased to be able to introduce this range. We hope that it's going to be something you'll all be able to use. Uh, aimed at the DIY restorer and professionals alike, we've come up with some colours that match petroleum brands. Now, some of these are very exact. Some brands did use their own mix of colours. Others used generic colours of the period, which are very hard to match uh, today with um, 2K colours, RAL codes, things like that. So these are traditional, period correct or exact matched colours that we're coming up with. So we're going to be adding to the range as quickly as we can, uh, just as soon as we can come up with some matches we're happy with really. Um, the biggest thing to remember is that colours change a bit over the time. Uh, the weather is often not uh, too kind on paintwork, especially petrol pumps. Uh, you can have three pumps next to each other, all the same brand, same colour and the shades will be slightly different. But anyway, this little video here today is to show you just how easy it is to use our coach enamel paint. And what I've done is I've dug out this Shell petrol can from the shed and I just thought I'd give it the roughest, quickest prep I can and then brush on some paint to show you uh, just what it's like to use a coach enamel paint. So here goes, this is a 1930s, 40s, very generic, very dusty, dirty, scabby shell petrol can. And what I'm gonna do is to save your watching for hours and hours, I will quickly do a little bit of prep back to bare metal and then we shall lay on some paint and you will get to see what it looks like. So just like that, we've taken this can here, petrol can, and with a heat gun and a wire brush, which I totally do not recommend as the best way to remove paint, I've really quickly taken this back to bare metal. And you can see there, there's a bit of pitting in the metal. You can see the embossing nice and clearly. And I'm just going to prep that ready to take the paint. So we'll just degrease it quickly and paint straight over that. Now, normally I would say use a primer and an undercoat if you want the best finish possible. But what I'm aiming to hopefully try and show you, and I haven't uh, done one earlier, as the old Blue Peter saying goes, um, I'm literally gonna do this here and now for you, but hopefully it will show how easy it is to apply over bare metal and the sort of coverage you can get over a 80, 90 plus year old metal finish like this is here. So here goes. Just give that a quick wipe over with some degreaser. As you can tell, I'm not very good at trying to hold a phone and work at the same time. So that will just dry off a little bit. You can see what dirt's still left on the surface there. It's all come off. Right. Have here a larger brush than I'd normally use. Very cheap, very basic. Uh, that was a petrol garage giveaway plastic paintbrush um, from many years ago. So not the brush I'd recommend either. Literally, this is not how we'd normally restore any of our items, those of you who know us. It's purely an exercise in about 10, 20 minutes to show you what could be done with a traditional coach enamel paint on something like a petrol can for you to display at home. So the colour I've chosen here is one of our generic dark reds. So it's not our mixed vintage shell red, but it is a very close traditional dark red, just so you can see a bit on the brush. Now, normally, again, I would say to you, decant it so that you're not using it straight out of the pot. That is not the way to go. And we're just gonna start lightly brushing it on. Working it a little bit. There's already some dirt I've picked up and you can see the bristles coming out of this cheap brush. There we go, got a bristle there. Let's get rid of that more paint work it into the embossing just so we can get a nice even cover 
and you can already see the paint flatting itself out there on its own and I really am doing this very very roughly there are probably professional coach painters sign writers barge painters etc screaming at me at the moment but you are probably wondering why we are so excited about this paint thinking well why can't I use normal paint from uh, certain high street retailers well it's just not quite the same um, these paints have been used for years the Queen's coaches apparently are still painted by hand for a reason um, traction engines vintage vehicles lorries trucks uh, early cars as well vintage cars and there are still many collectors of pumps as well um, friends of ours that prefer this traditional look because a two-pack highly sprayed pump is a beautiful thing but it's not exactly what would have been done in the day um, very nice for display but there you go that is how easy it is to use and that is one very thin coat what I'll do is I'll take it out to the daylight so you can see it a bit better so here we are out in the daylight with this can and that is still very wet so I will try not to touch it too much that wants to just be left alone now to dry um, generally takes a good 24 hours for a coat to dry but hopefully apart from all the dust and grit that's in there what you'll be seeing is a one single brush painted coat of paint which has leveled itself out nicely which could be flatted down again if you wished and then varnished just to get rid of some of the dust and grit that's in there and give a shinier coat but it's a coat of paint that really would fool a lot of people into thinking that can have been sprayed if it was done a little bit better and a little bit more time taken on it and I will just remind you what the can looked like before it looked like that and all I've done is wire brush that down to bare metal and put a single coat of paint and I'm getting paint on my trailer so uh, that's not a good idea but there you have it a shell petrol can restored with a shiny coat of paint in about 10 minutes